What is up guys? Welcome back to yet another brand new Major Ben gaming video. I hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. Just to say quickly, I did see somebody's comment about changing my backdrop because it is just a mess. I admit that. It's, it's terrible. It's horrible. I don't want it like this. I am working on sorting something out. It's just a hard room to sort of rearrange, to be honest. It's not as big as you might think. So I do need to sort out something of making it look a little bit nicer um, with the window not being there and stuff. You can see my cat, which is nice for you guys. But anyway, not about that. It's about the content, right? So let's talk about about what uh, is going on with Xbox today and we got an announcement for the Fallout 4 next gen update bringing this to 60 FPS for PS5 Series X with enhanced features as well now obviously they're doing this because the Fallout series is released now and I've heard great things I haven't actually started watching it yet I'm watching uh, Better Call Saul which is sort of like a uh, joined on to Breaking Bad with Saul Goodman we're not going to talk about that though, uh, but the Fallout series has obviously come out on Amazon, so if you haven't watched it and you want to watch it, it is out now, so go check it out. And for that, they've released this update. So Fallout 4's new gen update hits PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S later this month, bringing with it 60 FPS, increased resolutions, stability improvements, and more. Hot on the heels of Amazon's Fallout TV series, which pre premiered yesterday with all eight episodes available for viewing, the Fallout 4 new gen update arrives on the April 25th. So I'm, I'm definitely going to do a whole new playthrough on my Series X because I this game is brilliant anyway but just the fact that now it's going to be running even nicer and, and better that it's just it's just good news uh with this update ps5 and xbox series x and s players will get a new native fallout 4 application assuming they already own previous gen versions of the rpg performance and quality mode settings in the game stability improvements and fixes 60 fps gameplay and increased resolutions on previous gen consoles fallout 4 players will receive a free update with stability improvements and login and quest fixes so that's people on ps4 and xbox one as well if you're a pc player there's a free fallout 4 update coming to that platform as well it will add widescreen and ultra widescreen support to the game with fixes to creation kit and variety of quest updates as well pc versions of the game on steam the microsoft store and gog will receive stability mod and bug fixes plus the game will soon be available for purchase on the epic game store and if you have a steam deck fallout 4 will be verified for it when this update goes live later this month that that's huge news because we all know that handhelds are a big thing that Xbox want to push, right? Even they're talking about having their own handheld at some point soon. So that's good news that they've actually enabled this as a, a verified title for Steam Deck. Alongside the new gen update, developer Bethesda Game Studios is releasing the following free creation club items. Enclave Remnants. Enclave Remnants brings the pre-war cable, the Enclave, into the Fallout 4 storyline according to a blog post. In a new quest called Echoes of the Past, players will be tasked with stopping the Enclave from spreading their ideology throughout the Commonwealth. Alongside workshop items and the Enclave Colonel, sorry, Colonel, uh, it's a weird word to read and say, um, uniform players can get the following previously released Creation Club items. And then here you go, there's a list of the items. Um, there's makeshift weapon packs, uh, you can see here, including the baseball launcher, nail gun, and piggy bank, uh, Halloween workshop. There's a few different things they've added in, which is cool, but the main thing is obviously just this next gen update having 60 FPS with improved resolutions on the consoles pc not such a big upgrade yes they allow you to do widescreen and ultra widescreen but again the graphics isn't going to change on pc because you could already set that stuff to native 4k and, and do crazy uh, frame rates and stuff but the consoles is where it's at it's a huge upgrade for those guys or for me as well and it's free no payment for this this isn't last of us part two uh where you're just gonna have to pay for a resolution increase that barely even does anything and a, a frame rate increase so that's good news okay we, we, i'm pleased with this but do go check the fallout series as well now i also want to talk briefly about the xbox actual update so there is a, there is an april 2024 update uh is being released this month and starting with the console users the update has a number of new settings and smaller features for the players uh, these aren't big features but it's worth talking about within discord voice users will now be able to hear soundboard audio uh, from other people in either your channel or call um, there's also a new option to mute the soundboard as well for 
For those who save game captures, OneDrive will now notify you if you're getting low on space. Lastly, new restrictions have been put in place to allow users to set whether specific users on the console can install or uninstall games and apps. So if you're sharing a console between your family, you can stop certain people being able to delete games off the system entirely. You can enable access restrictions with a guest pin and disable those new controls when a game or app install or uninstall happens. Xbox Experiences see Xbox Experiences Senior Product Manager Alex Charter, or Charter, sorry, said your guests will be prompted for the guest pin to complete the activity. Moving on to PC users, Xbox has released game hubs for all users on the Xbox app. The new hub UI update will let players see any new DLC release for the games, friend activity, time played, achievements, and more. So that's pretty much it um, for today's updates. I think that's pretty good. I'm really pleased that they're doing the Fallout update. I think this is stuff that should be praised heavily from developers so that we don't get stuff like what's what uh, Naughty Dog's done with Last of Us Part 1 and 2. In the end of the day, a lot of this stuff, maybe not so much Last of Us Part 1 because that was a much more major upgrade, but with stuff like Last of Us Part 2, that should never, ever be paid. Even if it's $30 or £30 or whatever, it should not be paid. You wouldn't have to pay for that on PC see when you're upgrading resolutions so you shouldn't have to do it on the consoles at the end of the day this is easy for them to do it's a case of just changing the resolutions on the on the hardware that they've got and changing the frame rate um unlock basically they just use the pc versions essentially so it's not difficult for them to do but um i just want to add as well yesterday if you haven't watched yesterday's video i talked about why i prefer console over pc uh, i'm sure there's probably lots of hate going on there for that video because it's just a preference as i said do go watch the video but this is one of the reasons i actually enjoy not just being able to play games on my pc and just be like ultra everything i kind of enjoy being able to like replay a game like fallout 4 this month with better frame rates and resolutions than I was able to the first time I played it through. And that's something that's just enjoyable for me personally. And I just like that everybody's talking about it as a big update that's come out for it. And it's same time as the Fallout TV show. So this is just another thing to kind of add to that list that I, that I talked about yesterday as to why I enjoy the consoles a lot. But that's it for this video. Please do leave a like, subscribe. Uh, my socials are in, in the description below if you'd like to follow me on any other platforms as well. I do, I am pretty active on my Twitter or X. Uh, I still haven't got used to that yet, but come and talk to me, come and discuss things with me. I'm always interested to hear your opinions, even if they differ from mine. I'm not the sort of channel that just criticizes and, and, and moans at people if they have a different opinion. It's good to talk about things, and I like hearing others, other people's opinions and feedback on stuff. I'm not a console fanboy or a PC fanboy. I play everything. I still play PC. I play Switch, Xbox, and, P and PlayStation as well, and I just enjoy all platforms. Yes, I prefer my Series X as an ecosystem. I love quick resume and stuff like that, but I'm open-minded. I enjoy everything. I don't stop people on PlayStation coming on my channel just because I prefer one platform over the other. That's ridiculous. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in future videos. Bye-bye for now.